Here it comes, 6.30 in the afternoon. I jump on the couch, pressing the power on button of the TV. Placing my cola and popcorn at the armrest, I stared straight into the screen, smiling, watching my favorite animation. Even though I could hear a sign from my mom, I continued. Watching animations and cartoons are fun. It's entertaining. It will give you knowledge and new ideas. And I understand them because I also like watching them. Even though I was seriously into it, by doing research and by reviewing my own experience I had in my past, finally, I decided not to overwatch. Consequently, now I still watch animations and cartoons, but I control myself to not overwatch. It's not only me having this kind of problem. Many kind of people suffer this kind of problem or face this kind of problem. So I would like to warn you, anyone should not get addicted too much to cartoons or animations. It might give people negative consequences. First of all, watching animations and getting addicted too much will make us obese. The Harvard School of Public Health says for every two hours of television you watch, people raise their risk of obesity by 23%. Also, watching animations and cartoons and having snacks or drinking sodas comes in pairs. In addition to that, watching TV will make us watch advertisements. And advertisements mostly encourage us to buy unhealthy foods. For example, potato chips or sugar-filled drinks. People might think raising their risk or getting obese is a problem. People might think, why raising risk or getting obese is a problem? Because we tend to think we can go for a diet easily. However, according to my experience, it was during the summer holiday. I had nothing to do, so I started to watch animations because I had time, a lot of time. I kept on watching it, doing no exercise or physical activity. Once people get addicted to it, it's hard to stop it. It's like smoking. Luckily, I had to go to school, so I didn't have time to watch animations or cartoons. But if there wasn't, I think I wouldn't stop it. Getting obese is not a problem. Being an obese person could still have several ways to get back to their normal weights. However, getting addicted to animations and cartoons, and getting obese is a problem. There is no way to recover their weight back to normal because they think going on for a diet is wasting their time. Next, watching animations and getting addicted too much will take away our communication skills. TV Free America calculates that t children on average watch 1,680 minutes of television each week. Parents on average spend only 38.5 minutes per week having meaningful conversation with their children. This is still fine. This child could still communicate. But in this world, there are kind of people who are called otaku. Otaku in Japanese generally means a person who has a deep interest to one type of thing. But in this case, it means a person who is really addicted to spending lots of time to animations and cartoons. In Korea, there are 100,000 otakus who has trouble forming social relationships. In addition, they have more risk to develop, uh, develop a type of autism which is a disorder when you have difficulty communicating and forming relationships with others. People might think why losing a skill to communicate with others or not to communicate with others often is a problem. 
However, this is a huge problem. In every time of life, having the skill able to communicate is important. Not like talking a person at a supermarket if you need a plastic bag or not. We need a proper skill able to entertain people and able to talk for a certain period. If you don't have this kind of communication skill, you will have problem making friends. I would guess most of the people wouldn't be friends with you if you don't have communication skill because they think they're boring. You are boring. Even when you're older in your neighborhoods, when you're helping each other, if you don't have social skills, no one will know what to help you need, what help you need. Finally, watching animations and getting addicted to too much violence will affect us mentally. Some people say violence tends to be presented as humorous rather than serious or realistic. In addition, violence show on television has little focus on victim, his or her injuries or pains. You might agree on this, but I disagree. I watch a lot of Japanese animation. When I do, I thought most of them include some kind of violence. Also in Japan, even if it's violent, it's not rated. So everyone could watch it. Also, if people start to watch animations with little amount of violence, they get used to it. And we are humans. Humans look for something new. So people start to watch more violent animations and so on. As I said previously, watching too much violent animations or cartoons will give you negative effects. As a proof, with an average American child seeing more than 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders on TV by age of 18. Also, two thirds of all TV shows contains at least some violence. In addition, more than 1,000 separate studies, including findings by American Psychological Association, the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, and the National Institute of Mental Health, which are organizations studying about the mind, said that watching too many TV violence, the more likely to have aggressive behavior. By watching TV that has violent scenes in it, it will give us negative effects. The serious problem is because you're too, because you're exposed too much to violence, you think hitting or other violent actions are not bad. So you might do violent actions. The consequence of that, you might have to leave the school. Since in this school, if you did any kind of serious violent actions, you have to leave the school. Or worse, you might have to get to get into jail. Because getting addicted too much to TV, it will affect your weight, communication skills, and change your way of thinking what's violent. You don't want to get addicted to animations or cartoons. If you're the kind of person who's addicted to TV or starting to, maybe includes violence, you should start to control yourself. You don't want to be a person who's fat, a person who can't talk with others, a person who starts violent, starts to be violent if somebody says something offensive to you. I guess you want to be a person who has no more weight, a person who is funny and nice speaking to everyone, a person who is not aggressive and kind to everyone. By listening to this speech, I hope you will be a person who hops on a chair in front of the dining table at 6.30. Putting the remote control aside, talking with your mom, who's smiling and laughing for her from her happiness and excitement, from listening to the experience of today's. Just noticing the change, just noticing to change a little thing in life, 
just controlling to not overwatch TV will give a bright life of excitement and laughter. Thank you.